Cyclone Bipar Joy intensified into an extremely severe cyclonic storm at 5.30 a.m. on June 11, 2023 and continues to remain so. It is likely to make landfall in Gujarat, according to the India Meteorological Department. Till June 14, it is very likely to move northward and then cross Saurashtra, Kutch and adjoining coasts between Mandvi, Jakhau Port and Karachi around noon of June 15 as a very severe cyclonic storm. Cyclone Bipar Joy is now the strongest cyclone in the Arabian Sea after Tokte, according to both IMD and Joint Typhoon Warning Center. But Bipar Joy is unusual because most models could not predict that it would intensify into an extremely severe cyclonic storm. One of the contributors to this unpredictability is the amount of wind shear, that is, the change of the wind with height. The shear towards the northern Arabian Sea has been weak and favourable for cyclone intensification. Similarly, the sea surface temperatures also have been favourable. The shear winds in the south increased as the monsoon strengthened. It is the progression of the monsoon and then the cyclone that is deciding the shear. The second unfavourable condition is dry air in Pakistan and West Asia, which is a poison for tropical cyclones. As the cyclones move further, they will suck dry air from different regions. Additionally, the upper air divergence helped the cyclone intensify. But now, it's weakening, which would be among the factors to weaken the cyclone in the coming days. When divergence occurs in the upper levels of the atmosphere, it leads to rising air. IMD forecasts indicate that Cyclone Bipar Joy might have a landfall as a severe cyclone but dissipate after landfall in about 6 hours to a deep depression. In the satellite era since 1982, Cyclone Bipar Joy is now the fourth longest-lived cyclone during the pre-monsoon season in the Arabian Sea as per JTWC records.